Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Compline Prayer at the End of the Day. I'm Reverend Winna and Father Michael, and we are going to be with you through this service this evening, and we're very grateful to have Laura French, our Zoom host behind the scenes. Father Michael is going to open us with some beautiful music, and then we will begin with a prayer of intercession. Let us pray. Let us pray, dear friends, for the mercy of God and for our brothers and sisters from east to west, that they may pray for us also. Whosoever divided in different places through Christ our Lord. Let us pray for the unity of the churches, for the sick, for the feeble, for the captives, for the penitents, for those in sorrow, for those who travel by sea, and for those who make any journey, for those who are occupied in the works of mercy, for the spirits of the departed, and for the excommunicated, and that the Lord God give them the power to repent through Christ our Lord. Let us pray also for the mercy of the Lord, of the, of, for the souls of our dear ones at rest, that the Lord may vouchsafe to them peaceful refreshment and in a place of quiet and consolation. May allow them to profit by the intercessions of his saints through Jesus Christ. We offer to thee, O Lord Jesus Christ, this prayer from the rising of the sun to the going down, thereof on the right hand and on the left, in honor and glory of the humanity and divinity of Christ, in honor and glory to all the blessed angels, of the archangels Michael and Gabriel, in honor and love of the patriarchs, prophets, apostles, martyrs, through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord Jesus, in Gethsemane, your friends were not able to stay awake and watch with you. And when you were taken, they all fled, leaving you alone. Remember with compassion and for good those who are alone, those who have lost friends or family to death, to those whose lives have been solitary because of the work or, or, or particular burdens. We pray also for those who in selfishness or other faults have broken every tie, those whose guilt or sin leaves them alone or despised. We pray for those who have been falsely accused and shunned for no reason, those embittered through what they have endured and for all caught in the isolation of mental confusion. In all of these lords, let your spirit work forgiveness and reconciliation, renewal and hope. Give to each of us such a sense of your abiding love, such a confidence in the communion of saints, and such a heart that as we turn towards you, we turn towards each other in perfect charity, in the bonds of friendship. For you have called us to be friends and to welcome all into the one eternal kingdom. 
You have also called us to pray for those who are in any need. And so we do so now. We pray this evening for Allison and Rick, Heather, Jan, Kay, Crystal, Leslie, Ruth, Sean, Sheila, Theo, TJ, Trina, Wayne, Linda and Lloyd, Bob, Elaine K, Jessica K, Jackie, Lori, Pat L and Dennis, Keith, Corinne, Declan, Alan, Marion, Greta, Pat, Pat B, Philip, Beth, Stan and Phyllis. And we remember and give thanks for the life of Gaylene Burns. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Thou art in the midst of us, O Lord, and we are called by thy name. Do not forsake us. Thanks be to God. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of thy eye. Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through all the hours of this night, that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in thy eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. O God, our Father, for the sake of the infinite love that burned in the hearts of thy Son as he bore his passion, we plead for all tonight who stand most in need of thy merciful love and protection. Try my heart. As you visit me by night. For the wrongs we have committed and the good we have left undone. Have mercy. For all false judgments and uncharitable thoughts toward others. Have mercy. For presumption on thy grace and arrogance toward others. Have mercy. By thy humility in washing the disciples' feet. Save us, Jesus. For those in darkness this night. Save us, Jesus. On souls beset by temptation. Have mercy. On those in deadly sin. Have mercy. On those given up to worldliness and forgetful of thee. Have mercy. On those who are in danger of losing thee forever. Have mercy. By thine agony. Save them, Jesus. Those who are tempting others. Answer to thy love. 
on those carrying on wicked trades and profaning by sin. Have mercy. On those indulging in sinful and exploitive amusements. Have mercy. On all imperiling their souls by luxury and self-indulgence. Have mercy. On all acting in cruel and vicious disregard for others. Have mercy. By thy scourging. Save them, Jesus. For those who suffer from the wickedness of others. Protect and restore by thy love. On all without home and shelter this night. Have mercy. On refugees and those whose homes are destroyed in war. Have mercy. On children abandoned or disowned by their families. Have mercy. On all in mental anguish. Have mercy. On those caught in addiction and destructive habits. Have mercy. On the cold, the hungry, and the frightened. Have mercy. By thy cross and passion. Save them, Jesus. Those who are to rescue and protect. Strengthen by thy love. For those who work through the night hours. Have mercy. For the police and first responders in crisis. Have mercy. For those in transportation. Have mercy. For journalists. Have mercy. For those who clean and repair buildings or infrastructures. Have mercy. For doctors and nurses. Have mercy. For all who work to sustain our community. Have mercy. By thy nights spent watching in prayer. Save them, Jesus. Those who work or watch or weep this night. Sustain with thy presence. To the sick and the suffering and all in agony of body or mind. Give comfort and peace. To parents watching with sleepless children to caregivers tending the elderly, to all who stand and watch over others this night. Give patience and steadfastness for the sleepless and the lonely. Be near them. For those in anxiety or mental distress. Calm them. For those who this night will suffer bereavement. Visit and sustain them. To those who will die this night. Give hope, and in thy mercy receive their souls. On those dying suddenly and unprepared. Have mercy. On those dying without hope or faith. Have mercy. On those dying alone. Have mercy. To the faithfully departed. And for any for whom no one prays. Grant light and peace. To us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Grant pardon of sins, renewal of faith, quickening of love, and a reasonable and holy hope in thee. By thy holy death. Deliver us, Jesus. By thy glorious resurrection. Save us and bring us all to the joys of paradise. For those who have said no prayers and for whom no one has prayed, let us say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed, praised, and adored be our Lord Jesus Christ, on his throne of glory, in the most holy sacrament of the altar, and in the hearts of his faithful people. Of his great mercy, May he guide, protect, and support us this night and evermore. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh.
Thank you for joining us this evening and we wish you a pleasant and restful night.